And now, another moment in the history of Stafford County. The dream of flying, just like a bird, has been with mankind since he first looked up in the sky. The Greeks tell the story of the engineer Daedalus, who fashioned wings of wax to escape imprisonment by King Minos. That legend spawned centuries of experiments with building wings to attach to our arms, as well as a variety of other contraptions designed to carry us into the sky. Of course, it wasn't until the Wright Brothers flyer lifted from the ground at Kill Devil Hill on December 17, 1903, that the dream became a reality. But did you know that the story of heavier than air flight almost started right here in Stafford County? With this. Very few people today realize that Samuel P. Langley almost succeeded with inventing the airplane before the Wright Brothers. Langley was an astronomer from Massachusetts and superintendent of the Smithsonian Institution when in 1887 he began serious research into flying. And that research would eventually lead to the development of what he called his aerodrome, or flying machine. Langley's partner in the effort was fellow inventor Alexander Graham Bell, developer of the first practical telephone. Langley and Bell wanted to launch their airplane off a barge using a catapult. Actually, the barge looked more like a houseboat than a barge, although in any event, it would do. The site the inventors chose for their test was in the Potomac River, just off the Widewater Peninsula in Stafford County. Like any new invention, Langley's aerodrome evolved from a series of trial and error attempts, each teaching him a new lesson. In 1895, Work on fine-tuning aerodrome number 5 and building number 6 brought him closer to his goal. Number 5 flew three circles to the left and climbed to nearly 60 feet before crashing into the water. But the success was enough to win him an audience with the War Department, from whom Langley received a grant in 1898 to build a larger version of his aerodrome that would carry a man into the sky at last. With the help of his assistant, Charles Manley, who would also be his pilot, Langley redesigned both his aerodrome and his engines in preparation for his first launch with a man on board. The date for his first attempt was set for October 7, 1903. Following the construction of a new and larger houseboat and the expenditure of almost $70,000, Langley was prepared for the launch. With his patrons and several members of the Washington Press watching, the aerodrome was launched. And into the water it went. Manley was rescued from the river, but the aerodrome itself was demolished when it crashed into the water. But like any good inventor, Langley was undaunted and returned to the drawing board to prepare for his second attempt which came on a cold early December morning in 1903. But once again, the aerodrome crashed into the river and Manley had to be rescued. But before Langley could even consider further attempts, the Wright brothers successfully flew the flyer in North Carolina on December 17, 1903. After the success of the Wright brothers, Langley abandoned any thoughts of flying the aerodrome again. But the story doesn't end there. It's true, the Wright brothers went on to fame for their significant accomplishment, while Langley's design went to the dustbin of history. But Stafford County's almost first flight has also claimed its place in aviation history. Because, you see, Langley's launch pad ended up being the concept around which the modern day aircraft carrier was built, that of a seaborne launch platform using a catapult. In fact, in honor of his place in aviation history, the first ever single purpose aircraft carrier in the US Navy was named USS Langley. And there you have it in the Stafford Minute.